Welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. This question says, the position of a 49 gram oscillating mass is given by this equation, where t is in seconds. Determine the amplitude, period, spring constant, maximum speed, total energy, and velocity. Wow, okay. First off, let's just talk about this equation real quick. Where they're getting it is from the, the summary, the chapter summary, they tell us that a position versus time graph has an equation of a times the cosine of either two pi over t times the time or x of t is equal to a times the cosine of two pi f times t. So what they're doing is they're giving you the equation with stuff plugged into it. So they say x of t is equal to 2.1 centimeters times the cosine of 12 t. And then they said, what is the amplitude? So first off, a is right there, 2.1 centimeters. So all they're really doing with this question is they just want to check that you understand what's going on with these two equations. So a is 2.1 centimeters. And then they say, what is the period? So we're going to use this version right here to solve for t. So they just give us 12, though. So what they're saying is 12 is equal to 2 pi over t. So now we solve for t times both sides like that. Then we get t times 12 is equal to 2 pi and then we divide both sides by 12 and we're left with t is equal to 2 pi over 12. So that gives us t of 0 0.524 seconds or rounded, we'll just do 2, 0 0.52 seconds um, equals t. Okay, so now we're two down. We got the amplitude, we got the period, so now they want the spring constant. So now we're going, now that we have the, the period, we can go away from this and use t is equal to 2 pi times m over k square rooted. So now we have the mass that's given to us is 49 grams. T we just solved for and we want K. So this is the correct equation. So let's solve for K. We'll divide both sides by two pi. So now T over two pi is equal to the square root of M over K. Then we square both sides. So now we have T over two pi squared is equal to m over k. And then what we're going to do is multiply both sides by k. So this, and then we'll divide this over. I'm showing it in one step just so I don't have to write it out twice. And Okay, so now let's rewrite this. So k is equal to the mass divided by t over two pi squared. The mass we said was 0 0.049, 49 grams or 0 0.049 kilograms divided by 0 0.52 seconds divided by 2 pi. All that is squared. So now our spring constant is equal to 7.154 newtons per meter or 7.1 newtons per meter rounded. Again, I don't know why they rounded it this. I might have had a, a rounding uh, rounded differently than they did, but they said it was 7.1 instead of 7.2. So um, just, I guess I ought to talk about that real quick. So what I do is I always just plug it in the exact value. So I plugged in 7.154 instead of 7.1 one or 7.2 and I let it round it for me however they want to because it, it won't dock it for me it just it just says hey you got the right answer but we rounded different than you did okay what do they want next 
So we got the spring constant, now they want the maximum speed. We know V max is equal to two pi times the frequency times A, and again, all these equations are from the end of chapter summary. We solved for period, so let's just change this to period. So frequency, remember, is equal to one over T. So I'm gonna plug that in right there. So that changes it to V max is equal to two pi times one over T times A, and we can rewrite that as two pi over T times A. So let's come down here and plug in our numbers. So we have two pi over 0 0.52 seconds times the amplitude, which we figured out at the beginning was 2.1 centimeters, so 0 0.021 meters. And that gives us a Vmax of 0 0.254 meters per second. So 0 0.25 rounded. All right, and then lastly they said what is the velo- oh, whoops, sorry, two more things. Total energy, then the velocity at a certain time. Okay, total energy. So let's draw a picture real quick just so we can kind of see a little better what's going on. We have a spring and a mass is oscillating on that. All right, and so here we'll say is the equilibrium point. It's oscillating between a positive amplitude and a negative amplitude. So what's happening is it's coming out here and it's stopping and turning around and coming back in. The spring's pulling it back in. So here we have zero meters per second as our velocity right when it turns around. So what we're saying is all of the energy is completely turned into spring potential energy. At the equilibrium point, the spring is not acting on it at all. So it is all kinetic energy. And then again at negative A, it has all been converted to spring potential energy. So what we're saying is we'll have some kinetic energy and spring potential energy initially, and then final, we'll have uh, the same thing. So if we just look at two points, let's say we look at the equilibrium point and positive amplitude. At the positive, or sorry, not positive amplitude, at the equilibrium point, we just talked about how it's all kinetic energy. So spring potential energy is zero. And then at the amplitude, the positive amplitude, it's all spring potential energy. So kinetic energy is zero. So kinetic energy is equal to spring potential energy. So now we can find either the kinetic energy or the spring potential energy and whatever value we get for either of those will be the total energy of the system. So we have one half mv squared is equal to one half k times the amplitude, or which is another way of saying a delta x, how far the spring has been compressed, squared. So now if we do one half times the mass, 0 0.049 kilograms, times the velocity, which we solved for, the V max was 0 0.25. That gives us kinetic energy of 0 0.00156 joules. Now I'm not gonna do it, but if you were to plug in all the values for amplitude in the spring constant, and you plug that in, you will find that you will get the exact same thing of 0 0.00156 joules. Now lastly, they said, what is the velocity at t equals 0.45 seconds? So again, going back to the end of chapter summary equations, they tell us that a velocity versus time equation, v of t is equal to negative two pi times the frequency times the amplitude times the sine of two pi f t. 
NFT. Now you might be looking at this and be saying to yourself, holy crap, what is going on there? What it is, is if you notice, two pi times the frequency times the amplitude is the same as V max. So we can rewrite this as a velocity of time is equal to negative V max times the sine of two pi F times T. Now they say we want at V of 0 0.45 seconds. So anytime we see a T, we'll plug in 0.45. So negative V max, 0 0.25 meters per second times the sine of two pi times the frequency. And I'm gonna change this I'm going to rewrite it again. I like the other way since we already solved for period. So now this will be 2 pi over t times time. So now t, the period was 0.52 seconds times a time of 0 0.45. So now when we do all that, we get a velocity at 4.45 seconds of 0 0.187 or 0 0.19 meters per second. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe.